Phone in silence, Vex. Uh, my phone is on the mode of the plane. Okay, very good. Welcome to a new episode of No Rules. I'm Spets Gonzalez, the host with my cousin Tigo. Tigo's going to Saudi Arabia. Saudi. Tomorrow. People keep saying Saudi. It's Saudi Arabia. Yeah. You're Saudi. going tomorrow to watch the Andy Joshua fight. Good luck, Andy Joshua. Round one knockout. I beg, lick up TV. Don't ask me for nothing again. <laughs> Last time I cared about boxing was when Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield fought in 1997 and Evander Holyfield was wearing purple trunks. <laughs> why, did, why was that the end? That was the end because I've got a special guest today. <laughs> Someone that looks like Evander Holyfield, <laughs> George <laughs> Foreman, Chris Eubank. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Taser White. <laughs> That's what you should call yourself. There's no rules, Taser nah, White. Nah, bro. Taser why? Black. No, man. The, black, the Blacks played out. For you, maybe. No, for Black Lives Matter. That was played out. That lasted like two weeks and that was it. <laughs> Only time you hold signs when you're wrestling. I think you're saying war is war or whatever. I think it's still going. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Oh, but it still matters anyway, man. Taze, how's things, man? It's good, man. Can't complain. Can't complain. Things are good, man. Thanks for coming on. Tigo, he's another guest I asked to come on without yeah. a fee. There was a guest I asked. And in fact, no, no, sorry. He asked me, Spets, when are you bringing me on? No names. I'll kill him later. <laughs> I said, oh, you're right, cool. I'll get you on next week. So I messaged him, yo, bro, what you want to do next week? Oh, uh, Specs, can you talk to my manager? Uh-huh. I hang around with Blue. I'm untouchable. I don't talk to managers. <laughs> you talk to my people. I'm untouchable. Do you remember that? Nah, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you, you do that, that a lot. No, but you do that a lot. I've noticed. Yeah. What manager? I'm gonna get on to you today about that. Why? Why? What I do? Nah, some of the stories you tell. I'm not sure if you're telling the truth or you're chatting. This shit, is bro. right. T just confirmed that you witnessed the story. No, 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 forget that story. Oh, which one, which I was one? talking about the other story where you tried to blast me, but Taser don't phone me. <laughs> I didn't phone you. <laughs> when? I didn't phone you. It was me. Yeah, it was you. The Mars, Mars sleeping in my car situation. I didn't phone you. You made it seem as if I called you. Like you I didn't call like, me. Like, exactly. <laughs> you didn't even call me. Exactly. I don't know what, I don't know what man yeah, I was saying. Yeah, okay, cool. Look, no, you Look, said I called you. Yeah, but if I said it. Yeah. Before mm. now, it, that means it didn't happen. Yeah, say that to the camera. Just put, put, look at the camera and say it. Taser, don't phone me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so two situations quickly. Um, on the, on my way here to the office, um, there was a, a fight in um, Mark Spencer's. So I heard people screaming, and I thought, let me go to the front and see what's going on. And I saw Uncle. Now Uncle is the, the, the security guard. In Mark Spencer's, or in fact, every uncle is a security guard in those supermarkets. <laughs> what am I talking about? But yeah, he said hello to me when I, when I walked in and I picked up a banana. He said, hello. I said, oh, are you uncle? And I walked off. So now I'm seeing him on the floor. I've got a kind of back him. So he's on the floor. Uncle's a bit wrinkled up. He's over 50. And he's on the floor of another guy that's over 50. Jay-Z's now, 50 now. Jay-Z's 50? Yeah, today. Jay-Z's got wrinkles though. I saw it here. Okay. Yeah, so you know, it happens. 50's come a few days now. Um, so they're on the floor. Now in my head, I'm thinking, there's no way they're shaking. Right here, right now. Rush hour in Marks and Spencer's. But I want to zoom in, because if they're shaking, I'm still going to get involved. <laughs> so I noticed that, nope, they're actually, you know, they're fighting. So what I done, I, um, I grabbed the guy off uncle from behind. He tried to, you know, reverse and try and tackle me, but the strength in the legs against someone that's wrinkled up, it's not going to work against me. So I held him. He slowed down, he calmed down, and everyone clapped for me and I walked out. So basically, I'm a hero. Everyone clapped for you? Nah, but <laughs> in my imagination. <laughs> okay. You sure the story that. wasn't in your imagination as well? Because what strength do you have? Let, well, let me tell you this, if the story was in my imagination, I would change it and make sure there was a bed there, <laughs> some soul music, some flowers, foreplay. <sighs> Wait, the other person that they were sh- he was shaking with, was yeah. it another guy? Yeah, the two, there's two guys on the floor. <laughs> two guys on the floor. So I thought they were, do you know what you, I mean? Because I couldn't see them. But you want to play Lauren Hill in the background? No, you know, I didn't say Lauren Hill. I said Keith Sweat. <laughs> didn't say anything. He said so. <laughs> so. Is Lauren Hill so? Yeah, she is, isn't it? Well, some of it's yeah, rap. So, yeah, some yeah, of it's yeah, hip-hop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So okay, we will throw Lauren Hill in there. Another situation. Now this one pissed me off. I'm on the train. A girl comes to me and goes, oh, Specs, how can I get a picture? Yeah, cool. Took a picture, chatting to her, she said to me, oh, you know what, you're kind of all right in real life. <laughs> you just clapped online. One second, one second. But I'm kind of all right in real life, kind of. First of all, you're not a situation. <laughs> so you're not all right to me anyhow. <laughs> but to say kind of, I think that is rude. You're kind of buff, you know. You're kind of peng. 
What are you talking about, kinda? They're not sure. Yeah, but you can't just come out and just say you're pink. That's like very direct. Kinda is like- It's rude. You could get there. That's rude. But if it's positive, then that's, you're, you're, you're creeping, you're reaching. Taser, Maybe you're a champion, you're a Champions League, like, girl taker. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Huh? Reword that, please. You're a smooth criminal. <laughs> I prefer that word. <laughs> <laughs> so, if a girl says, oh, you're kind of all right, in your head, do you think, well, let me try and get the number. I mean, in that situation. I mean, if she's kind of all right, maybe. So she's, you're the, she's got to be kind of all right as well. That dents my confidence, man. Nah, because I feel like when they say stuff like that, they're actually just trying to say you're all right. But rather than being direct like Tigo said. Too much. They're just like, mm. there's that little barrier. Okay. But with, when they said kind of all right in real life, you didn't, yeah. add, you've got to add that too. What she's trying to say is when she went on your Instagram. Yeah. I can't lie. I'm, I'm, do you know what? I was looking at my Instagram yesterday. I'm, I'm clapped on there <laughs> because I'm not. I'm not someone that you don't like, care. Like you and Miles, I don't do makeup wait, and stuff. Wait, 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 you, wait, 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 hold. I don't uh, do makeup on my Instagram. So why do you look like that? Because you don't look like that. I do. Well, I'll see you on that. Yeah, but you do. I do. <laughs> Let me see. Some some some, <laughs> Let me some, see. some cameras have flash catches me at a different angle. Some don't. You're not do putting them in the same category as Miles anyway. Miles is never ever. Whenever Miles is filming, he's never had a trim. But my, girls think Miles is incredibly good looking. Yeah, Which I can't see. No but, no, but that's fine. But they don't do nothing with him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that when you go, you know that when you go to someone, yeah, you go, like, that's a really nice dog. Yeah. You don't want the dog. You just, yeah, it's just a nice yeah, dog yeah, over yeah, there. That's true. That's when, true. You, when you become an adult, you figure that out. Because I was out, I was out with uh, Miles on the weekend, and one girl came up to me and goes, "I was like, I thought you did it to me." I was like, "But I know you, so why would you be starstruck yeah. to see me?" Because yeah. no, 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 it's that, it's that the guy from Filthy. I was like, oh shit, oh, yeah, that, that is. a little head. <laughs> that is Miles. And then she went up to him and just asked him, how come you tuck your ears in your hat? <laughs> <laughs> she asked his ears, why did his ears go inside? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, right, that's the first time I've actually seen like a girl, normally mm. dudes, like bare man. Yeah. Oh, Miles, filthy, yeah. But this is the first time I actually saw a girl like, oh my God, Miles. We got 7.5% female audience. 7.5? Yeah. Is that it? Oh, seven. Yeah. I thought you said 75. He said, seven, he said 7. 7.5. For the nonsense. That's like think. seven yeah. girls. <laughs> yeah. Seven girls, man. It's not seven girls, but yeah. It's about 7, 7. 7.5. So quickly, out of 10, out of 10, what do you think I am? Like, what, like, like come on, out of 10, like, look at me. Why are you looking at your lips? I, I don't know. A little cool it didn't, work. it didn't work, by the way. That's not working. Out of 10, what, what are you give me out of 10, honestly? I'll give you a 10 just because I'm in my bridge. Is it? So yeah, a 10 girl, you, you bring her to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can work with that, boy. Because I know you make her laugh. So what about the looks? Yeah, I don't feel looks matter. I'm not going to lie So, oh, because, so, because I'll make her laugh, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. You know, I'll take that. You're a solid wing, man. You, but you can't leave a girl with someone yeah. that's going to have the girl knocking on the door like, listen, yo, your bridge is moving mad. Oh, it's yeah. time to go. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I know you'll be able to keep the girl entertained while I go do what I'm doing with the other one. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So yeah, I have faith in you, uh, man. I, sorry, you know, I've like, got to love Miles. I've got to love Miles. <laughs> oh, what's he done now? I've got to love Miles. So when we, was on a, we, when we was filming Food Fellas last week, one of my boys came through JC. Yeah, I know JC. You see him too, yeah? You see him too, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So JC's like, oh, he's going for pianos. So I'm like, what are you going for, yeah? I'm hungry and I'm like, let's go. He's driving. He's like, yeah, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with a bed, you know? So obviously I want to like, I want to know who. Is it a guy or a girl? Is that a girl? I mean, I ain't gang. That's my bedroom. I ain't gang. Because you lot have always made your plans. So we're arguing. I'm not, I'm not on it. Miles comes in. Specs, just go. <laughs> this is bedroom. <laughs> You're not in the way. And I just thought to myself, Taser, if this was you, Miles would be with you and your bedroom. <laughs> he doesn't care. He doesn't see it. Yeah, he doesn't see it at all. He doesn't see it. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't matter if you have a bedroom, but I don't know what the intentions are. Yeah, Sometimes yeah, yeah. your bedroom tomorrow ends up being the bed shaker. So Miles is a professional bed friend, man. <laughs> He's a professional big friend. He he left here on Monday uh, and we stood outside for like half hour, 40 minutes. Like Louis Ray came, Morgan Keys came. And I was just like, all right, I want everyone out of the office because it's getting long. So we're standing outside, it's freezing cold, freezing cold. Miles is standing every two minutes like, so uh, when are we leaving? I'm going, Miles keeps saying it, everyone keeps ignoring him. Uh, so what's the plan? Everyone's ignoring him. Says it the third time. Yeah, yeah, so when are we leaving? I go, Miles, 
How comes you're the only one here without a lift <laughs> and you're the only one asking when we're leaving? Oh, that's why Skits was getting on to you. Yes, him. and that's so why then he, he goes and home. meets you. <laughs> I live in the same state though. It's not like I dropped him home. <laughs> T, the video that Skits records of Miles running after your back off while you're going up the stairs. <laughs> I swear that you're not looking, you're focused. <laughs> Miles is chasing you around because he knows he's getting home. It makes sense now, it makes sense now, it makes sense. I hope he doesn't use you, Taser Bob. Use who? Which part? You sure? You're forgetting every time something's mm. happening, I'm going to do what I'm doing. If you're tagging along, you're tagging no, along. But you don't live there, you live near me. You don't no, live. no, I've moved, I've moved back. Yeah, so you probably saw me and thought, yes. Are you all kicked out? Nah, oh. yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, landlord uh, wanted his uh, oh, I hate back. Yeah, the landlord, I hate that. Like, mm. All landlords are L's, man. Happened to me, just, my landlord just said to me now, March, I've got to get out of there, so I might try Give to stay at give us, uh, I think he gave us six weeks notice, but I was in Dubai. Did you get your money back? I said, oh. Because you paid? To, yeah, if you leave the yard, how you moved in. So you got to like clean and mm. get everything done. Well, they come and look at it and then boom. My last flat that I was in, I got my full deposit back because the landlord took too long to investigate. There's a window where they have to go in and prove that everything's fucked up. And if they don't do it, they have to just give you your money. See, I didn't know that because someone's already moved in. So technically. Probably didn't check. Yeah. yeah, so our deposit should be coming back then. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna chase up. So this is where Miles beats us because Miles still at his mum's. Should have just said that at mum's house, man. Yeah, but the floor, the floor. Oh, I got to start. Got to start. The thing is, when you bring up Miles, I've got too many stories. Remember, I've known him since year five. <laughs> he was. I've yeah. known him since year five. He, you were both year five. Then you went year six. No, no, no. I was in year five. He was in year six. Sorry, sorry. I was in year five. He was in. Year, he's older than me. Yeah, but then he got. Um, Apparently, this is his. This is his. <laughs> <laughs> this is his version of the story. Apparently, in his class, him and some guy used to always like. You know, like there's always a troublemaker, and he used to always distract Miles. So the teacher was like, "No, Miles, go into that class." So he ended up in my class. But he's trying to say he didn't get sent down. He just had to move. <laughs> so that's <laughs> absolutely. I don't know. Not the truth. <laughs> I don't know. But I got a funny story with Miles. Yeah. So I. Wasn't there to witness it. This is just told to it me. It happened. But it doesn't matter. Funny. So um, we're at an event. I think me and the man are already there. He's coming with another guy. Yeah. So he's got on the door, in it. So IDs, please. My brother's handed over his ID. It's pink. Miles has handed over his ID. It's green. Security's gone. Whoa. He ain't seen one of these in years. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Here, Miles. Miles is like, yeah. So what? It doesn't matter if you own your yard. Own your yard. He thinks the driving license turns pink <laughs> if you own your yard. Own your yard. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my boy was like, as soon, <laughs> as soon as my boy came in the bed, he goes, Taser, Taser, I need to tell you something because it's fresh. He told him, I said, the correlation is mad. <laughs> but to the, to, the, to the person was like, wait, what do you mean? He goes, well, uh, House is in my name, it doesn't matter if I don't drive. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Ah. <laughs> Who found him? I put him on filthy. Poet, innit? Yeah. Poet, Bro, man. Miles is the best. He's the best. I've he got, is the best. Yeah. I've got too much stories on him. <laughs> too much. I've got an aim, I've got a goal that I'm trying to like reach. I, I, I want to go Miles' house. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been there? Yeah, I've been there. You seen the mum? Yeah. Would you? It's Bob's room. We're not doing that. This is not- <laughs> I haven't met your sister before. Have you seen his sister? I've seen his sister before. Big fives. <laughs> no, I don't think I've seen his sister before. No. I'm dying to meet my husband, man. Can we just clarify mm. the would you part? Can you apologize? And I'm saying, for, would for you? These, I, I, these I, comments. No, I'm saying, would you, you know? what? Would you be her first cousin? <laughs> what? Yeah, let me let me finish. <laughs> Would you be her first cousin? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Would you be her first cousin? <laughs> Would you? I take it as a no. And that leads you on to my gift. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? Do you know what's funny? I, I can't wait for you to meet her. Who? Oh, no, yeah, it's going to be the she's best. She's going to beat you up. Let me tell you why I'm going to meet her. Because she's actually being rude to me. Yeah, she's going to beat you up. I don't think you seem to understand how Aggie Miles' mum is. That's why it's funny. How she's Miles Aggie. Is. What? What, in real life? Bro, she's, she's not be- kinder. She's beating you up. She's beating you up. Like I'm saying it on camera. See what what, 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 what Miles' mum sees. She's beating yeah, you up. Like, people, what am I meant to do if I see Miles' mum and she just starts throwing a jab, hook, uppercut, duck? Well, you you stopped you stopped too 
old guys from fighting today. So you're yeah, in, so you're you, the prime of your life. Finally, you got the strength. So. I'm good at blocks. I'll, just, <laughs> I'll, I'll block it, man. Might as well jump in. What's in. her name? We know her name. I don't know her name. Yes, we, yes you do. No, he did. That's call, not her name. I call her mummy. Yes, Does it begin it with B? Her name. Does it no. begin with B? No, that's the cat. Oh, yeah. That's the cat. Does it begin with W? <laughs> I don't know her name. What name I, are you thinking of? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just thinking. I don't know her name. I call her mummy. That's what I do when I uh, address the elders. Mummy, Can auntie. you? Is there a way you can like make me meet her without him... Like knowing, like so. For example, if you saw, if she works in oh, Shoe yeah. Express, <laughs> can you tell me what Shoe Express is so I can go on all the shoes and wind her up? <laughs> like, is that, but I won't say it's you. Wind her up, yeah. <laughs> not, 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 not that kind or of. Try wind. get her fired or something. No, but I just, I just want to get. I just want. I want to meet her. Before, I want. Okay. I, like, I need. I need to meet her before Miles introduces Introduce you to her. Oh, okay, cool. Can we do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, that's calm. I can do that for you. But she's just going to beat you up anyway. She watches Filthy, so. That's a, that's the thing, you know, like, I'm African, yeah? Mm. If I told my family to sit down and watch Filthy, after maybe 10 seconds, they don't hear the word Jesus <laughs> or Muhammad. Off. They turn it off. Yeah, but I don't think she's actually been told to sit down and watch it. I think she's just, bad people will probably hit her up and say, your son's a nuisance. You think you should watch it. Mm. So she just, should keep tabs on him. Especially, I like her, especially she's this supportive. week, she's she's more supportive than my mum. I saw this, I saw the trailer for this. I ain't actually seen it yet, but mm. the way you lot cut it off, like, you lot, are... bro, it was worse than that. It was worse than that. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch uh, it. It's, you'll see, man. But this is what I'm saying about Miles. Like, it's not, it's not an act. He genuinely feels that what he's doing makes sense in his head. I think it's a West Indian thing. One of my, one of my, one of my. I remember one of my friends here, his mum. My friend, we we was like. Ooh, this was like 2006. He just had his first son. I'm not going to say his name. And we've gone to the house to celebrate and his mum said to me, Specs, where's yours? First of all, she's calling me Specs. So in my I'm like, huh? Like, grown woman, I want to call me my, my, my real name. Maxwell. So, <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm doing these ones. I'm trying to, because I'm African, I'm trying to do these ones. Oh, no, I want to get married first. She goes, oh, are oh, you shooting blanks? Jesus. I'm like, this, this, this man's mum. It's too yeah. personal. It's too, it's too personal, it's too close. That's not good barrier. But I feel like with West Indians, the bar- there's no barrier, there's no rules. I just feel like everyone's just, everyone is just, it's just standard. That's why I've seen videos of young boys winding older women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going viral. I'm like, what the hell's this? In Nigeria, this no, doesn't no, happen. No, 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 but on the flip side, mm. we're very strict. Okay. Very strict as um, Nigerians. Like, I said to my boys the other day, we, we haven't had, I didn't have the conversation about the birds and the bees with my mum and dad. We didn't talk about sex at mm. all. So that means, have you risked it for a cracker? Who? <sighs> but this is an 18 plus show, just say what you're saying. <laughs> have bro. you risked it for a cracker? No, basically. I don't even, no, it doesn't even sound like I'm All right, basically, I've, all right, have you masturbated at home before? Oh yeah. Yeah, what, when your parents are in? Yeah. You've been caught? No. Is there been- I'm not to shut the door. Is there been- yeah, so we, 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 we So shut. how do you get caught? But there's been moments where maybe the door opens. Nah, no, no, no. Hey, okay, no. Is, there, is there, name your closest moment where your heart went, oof, that could have been the part where I got caught. What, as in? <laughs> yeah. But, masturbating or having sex? No, masturbating. No, nah, never, never, never. Never? Choose my times so wisely. <laughs> oh, so if, so parents were working nine to five. No, they don't even work. Nine to five people. is when you're sort sleeping. of shaking. They're just sleeping. So you've never had a close encounter? Nah. The volume's always on one, even though it sounds the loudest. Yeah. And then no one's up. No one's up. You Have you ever? Yeah, I, I, like, I, I, I think I've been caught. But my mum hasn't told me, so now. What, so she was watching? Well, she was sleeping. I did the same thing you do, we're Africans. Yeah. Volume on one, shoulder shaking. But I got the sheet over me because I was in a one bedroom house. And the mum was sleeping in, in, in the sitting room floor. Why did you go to the toilet? Because then after it says that's imagination. I can't take the TV with me in the toilet. Are you talking about TV times? You see, I yeah, never yeah. did it TV times. So you're always at the computer in your room? Yeah, more or less. Or a like laptop. M- Macintosh. <laughs> nah. Um, what's the other one? Packard Bell. Who the yeah, Packard? That's it. Yeah, that's Packard it. Bell. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you had the packing bell in your, in your room. While well, I was jingling my bells, yeah. So, yeah, so you, maybe these mirrors are clear. But when you, when you're in a one bedroom house, it's a bit difficult because obviously That's you might have to. You just, you just don't do it. 
What? <laughs> just don't do it. Don't. Man. After I've just watched Sable and Chris Stratus wrestle in the ring, you think I can't? I can't control oh, so myself. You're, so you're, you was a man that used to um, that what? fifteen minutes. What's that? What's after after wrestling, man? You get that little fifteen yeah. minute window. Yes, of course. And then it just one hundred percent. But the aim was to get your nut before the fifteen minutes was up. No, the, the aim was to enjoy myself as long as possible. That was my aim. So you're in a one bedroom house. So I'm in a one bedroom house, and obviously. Mum's just sleeping. Mum's just... Yeah, yeah. like, like Miles' mum's laugh. So obviously I'm dead, doing my thing, doing my thing. Mum's just shot up. Like someone in their dream hit her with a pellet gun. And she's looking at me. I've got my hand in my pipe, I'm looking at her. She's looking at me, I'm looking at her. Pipe my hand, and of course, I had, you know, the bed sheet's over. So I'm thinking, fuck, heart's beating fast. So now I'm thinking, fuck. And now I'm thinking to myself, as an African, I have to go back home. I live there. But well, she didn't see nothing though. <laughs> so that's what I was saying to Tigo. I think she, you know, remember sleepwalking? Yeah. I think she jumped walk. <laughs> she just jumped up, she's sleeping. Sleep, Cause you know sometimes people jump up jump and they see they look at you and they went back to sleep. So what happened to the content? Where was that? Still on the TV? Yeah, but she's facing me. But remember when, you're, when you get caught in the act, your whole world stops. <laughs> no, he doesn't know. <laughs> He knows, I'm gonna get out of him. <laughs> You've been caught, Taser. I haven't been caught. So it's just me. But masturbating, I haven't mm. been caught. Sex. I think <laughs> no, but Somewhere down no, the line. No, no, we're not parents though. I what? think my, my little brother was actually watching this. I think my little brother walked in on me once, but I didn't clock. The girl clocked. So the girls looked and go, <gasps> I was like, what? And I looked back, no one, no one was there. So I'm trying to figure out who came in my room. I don't know who came in my room. So we've stopped and I've gone upstairs. I'm like, who's just come in my room? My little brother's like, me. I said, what did you see? He's like, nothing. I said, what did you see? How old was he? I think he was like four, five. Oh, that's good. So I'm like, what did you he's see? Scarred, and he's like, oh, no, nah, you lot was play fighting. I said, yeah, it's called yoga. Mm. <laughs> and I just, I just left it as that. <laughs> How old is he now? He's 11. Has he, has he rested for a biscuit? <laughs> right. You said you got a gift for Taser. Taser, just to let, just just let you know, you've seen this show. We have to tell the truth, and I believe you're telling the truth. But someone is gonna get caught, mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm trust me, I'm, Marvin's coming on it as well. So I'm, don't tell him, but I need to ask Marvin if he's risking for a cracker. <laughs> Speaking of risking for a cracker, I have got you a gift. Now, people, of course, you know me and JD have got a great relationship. It's only right Taser gets a special gift from me. Open it, show the camera while I go on. Take them out a second, just take them out, take them out, no, take them out. Browns! <laughs> Pointing at Greg the whole way. <laughs> My team. Really thought you was getting Nike ambushes, bro. You're getting low for ambushes. I did it, I'm gonna lie to you. Knowing you, I brought you a gift as well, actually. And it's actually a good what? gift. What? It's actually a good gift. Oh, oh my God. I brought you uh, huh? a hoodie from my... Uh, my little brand. Oh, thank you, bro, man. I brought you and Tigo a drink. Amazing. Oh, I love this, man. Uh, it's called uh, Double O Nothing. This is the version. It's my boy's uh, rum punch line. But listen. What's it called, Double O No? Is it rum punch? It's called Heritage Rum. Has that got alcohol in it? Yes. What's his name? What's whose name? Your boy. Uh, OB. I call him OB. Hey, OB, with your big nose. <laughs> I don't drink, my bro. So how are you going to give me some nah, rum? Nah, I'm giving it to you. He gave it to me. I'm giving it to you. Is it's it? got Ciroc. Ray and nephew. No, it's too much. That sounds hard. I'll give it to the missus. She drinks. If you, no, but if you can't sleep, face when I go to the camera. If you can't sleep, tell listen. Him. What? If you can't sleep. Listen, I had a sip the other day. Yeah. I had to sit down. This Taser's brand right here. It's expensive, right? Yeah, expensive. Yeah. yeah. So I'm exclusive. Has Miles got one? Nah. Yes. Listen, what size are you? But they, they are all sizes. <laughs> are oh these boats though? As in the same style? Taser, they're yours. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking if they're bolts. They're you. yours. They're they are tasers. They're staying here. You and Bolt are going to say it too. They're staying there. They're staying there. <laughs> did you did, 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 did say your Bolt came in the office yesterday? We were in here filming something completely nothing to do with Bolt. Mm. And then out of nowhere, he comes through this door. I'm like, fucking hell, Bolt. He goes, yeah. I'm like, what's going on? He goes, ah, really need the toilet. He's in there half an hour having a shit while we're working in here. And he wore the worst jacket on Phil Fellas on the last episode. I came in with my biker jacket, proper sick biker jacket with the paddings. 
and he came on with a laptop jacket. <laughs> I've never heard of a jacket that's for laptops. Well, there's one that's sports wearing, which means the one of one. You could put the laptop in your pocket without having the laptop back. <laughs> What's it called again? This, is it satchel? <laughs> satchel? Yeah. Terrible jacket. Terrible jacket. But do you, you like my jacket, don't it? The, uh, the yeah, biker. if you was a biker. I said that. Biker boys. Or, or Sons of Anarchy. Or Anarchy, whatever they're called. If you was one of them, but you're not, so. Taser, there's no rules though. Why? Yeah, is, I know exactly. is there a manual that says only bikers can wear a biker jacket? No, there isn't. So there you go. That's the thing that hurts me. Oh, okay. So that's what was hurting you, not the fact that. If you look bad, look bad by yourself. Don't say nothing. <laughs> but if you come and tell me I look bad, then hey, hey! <laughs> Can't throw stones from a glass house. Is that the saying? Something Can't like throw that. stones in a glass house, yeah. Yeah, that's the saying, isn't it? Yeah, so. Don't point the finger at someone because it's free pointing at you. You heard that one? Is it? Yeah, nah, don't, don't point the finger at someone because it's free point at you. <laughs> You're free, look. Turn That's your one. hand, turn your hand. Yeah. No, point. <laughs> huh? Point. Yeah, turn your hand. Look at your fingers. What's the other three doing? Uh, this was lying down. So it's stuck. <laughs> lying down? <laughs> it's doing tuck shape. <laughs> Taser's got the worst <laughs> lines ever, people. Nigeria, bro. <laughs> Look at this. Let's get into some uh, serious Sundays. So let's start with DX, who said, how are you, man, bantering about death? What the fuck, LOL. How do you feel about bantering about death? How do you take death? Our Hannah Specs are pretty casual about it. Um, depend, depends on who, to be fair. Me, if I die tomorrow, touch wood. I'd celebrate, I'd celebrate your life. Huh? I'd celebrate. Would you cry? You can't cry for me. Depend, no, but to be fair, it depends on how you died. If it was like a mad death, but if you like knew it was coming, then I'd just celebrate your life, man. I died, I, died, I died shoulder shaking, risking it for a cracker. <laughs> I'm definitely laughing. <laughs> Why not? That's, that's how I wanna, I wanna die in a funny way. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm gonna die like, I don't know, like wrestling with Chucky. And he puts me in a submission that I can't get out. <laughs> to cry about death is learnt behavior. When I was young, I saw my auntie's big tears coming down the nose, then dropping down onto the floor. <laughs> Plash! <laughs> and I used to look, oh, okay, you're meant to cry when someone passes away. And then as I got older and stuff, and I realized, oh, hold on one second. Death is not that bad, man. I mean, it's, it's sad that you don't see them again, but we're all going to meet again at the crossroads. The next comment comes from Waid Wasim. One second. Waid Wasim. You know that comes from uh, Tezar? That comes from Somalia. <laughs> Go on, Tigo. Waid Wasim says, Caller Auntie needs to be a section. T you, you, you oh, 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 I get it, I get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that would be funny still. Well, especially my, coming from our. Um, you know my auntie's name? Or, um, what was it? Fanta. It's not fan R. Fanta. <laughs> Fanta, anti Fanta. But that's fine though. When I was watching that, I didn't I didn't um feel any way because there was girls in my school, mm. sisters. Mm. Uh, older sister was called Pepsi. <laughs> the sister I knew oh. was called Fanta. And the little <laughs> sister was called, I think, Tango. <laughs> nah. There nah. Was a, there was a brothers as well, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> These are names that were in school. They've got Fanta, Pepsi, we say uh, Tango. Super Malt. No, <laughs> so <laughs> My family is Fanta, but everyone else is okay. <laughs> you no, can't have bread and then Mike, Tom, John. No, but it must be short for something. Her name's Fanta. DX again. I can't believe we put DX in twice. Miles is going to punch a hole in his mum's wall after listening to this episode. He would never do that. Well, he's not allowed in his mum's room. What's going on? He would never do that. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's the perfect response. <laughs> that is funny, you know. That's very funny. Going yeah. mom's ass and his mum's doors open. <laughs> but you can't go in there. Got, <laughs> you have to knock and she's not even in. <laughs> she sounds she sounds like someone that has a lot of rules and I don't think I could ever live with her. Nah, I don't think man. Also, anyone's asking you to, but she's calm man, she's calm man. She's calm. We should film that though, me and Mo's mum like a day together. You should film that, man. 100%, yeah. you just got to think of it like this. Mm. Look at how Miles is. Mm. Yeah. So how do you expect his mum to handle him? Mm. Yeah, she must mm. be very ruthless That's with it. him. She's probably just thinking, oh, it's just Miles again. Do, do you think Miles is someone that like washes dishes and does the chores in the house? Yes. Is it? Yes. 
It doesn't look like it. Chunks, I was talking to Chunks the other day. He told me, because um, he's from the same area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, uh, when I was a kid, I used to see Miles walking around the estate. I never used to talk to him. We used to think he was Tupac. <laughs> Do you know what? I can see it though. What, the resemblance? Yeah. He looks like Kobe Bryant to me. Does look a bit like Kobe Bryant, yeah. You know who he looks like? The guy that went on Love Island. What's Ovi, his name? Ovi. He looks like Ovi. There, you know what? There is a weird similarity between them. Yeah. That I just, I in my head, when when the producers had a board with two pictures on it, they stood there for about two days trying to work out which one, which one are we going to go with? And they went with the right one. DZ Power says, I can see the future and it's 2021 and Specs is starting his own show, No Rules Live on Channel 4 at 9 p.m. A lot of people still talk about TV. TV's done, I <laughs> Yeah. I, I don't want to be on TV in 2021. But that's, that's what's seen as successful nowadays. Is it? Well, to some people. This is the success, man. Some people don't not realize that. Creating content is success, no matter where you put it. On yeah. my TV, I've got YouTube. I don't even check. I only check ITV News for uh, for Boris. I'm TV license keep messaging me. I'm like, but I ain't turned on the TV in yeah. that respect for time. That's what YouTube is me, jarring because you need to pay TV license to have internet now. Yes, because yeah. BBC iPlayer. But I don't use it. Final comment comes from Nathan Output. Can't stand the wrestling segment. What? Are you mad? What's his name? Nathan, Nathan, are you are you, are you are you crazy? Don't ever talk to me like that again. <laughs> wrestling, wrestling was huge growing up, <laughs> especially if you had Sky. I don't know how old you are, but bro, but you need to go on YouTube before the TV license comes and stuff. Is it is it now the TV license stuff? TV license stuff has been around for a no, but few for years. YouTube though. Oh, that's, that's a few years, yeah. So YouTube's still free. Oh, so it's no, coming. no, you have to use it. You have to get have a TV license if you have the internet. All right, now, yeah. pay your yeah. Apple TV license. Watch YouTube, watch the Attitude Era. Trust me, if you was around at that time, and Taser's gonna remind you, because I'm gonna find out if Taser watches it as well, but wrestling was bigger than football. I am telling you this now. Taser, did you watch wrestling growing up? Of course. Who was your, who was your wrestler? It's between The Rock and Stone Cold. That's, that's well, it. this is a good segue, because it. it's time for that's it. Remember Wrestling. Now, and there are actually people out there who don't like this segment. That, I mean, you can turn it off now. No, 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 no. I'll, I will fight these people, you know. Remember, <laughs> remember I hang around with Blue. So I'm untouchable. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, T, I'm not having it. The wrestling segment has to go in. Joe Walker, I need you to fight. Logan Sama, I need you to fight for this as well. Specs, what do you remember about Owen Hart versus Farouk? on WWF Raw is War on July 20th, 1998. I remember the original hack being on the screen, <laughs> taking the mick <laughs> out of every wrestler's voice. And Jerry Dick and Lola was obsessed. Owen Hart comes out and slaps the fan and puts him <laughs> in the sharpshooter. <laughs> do you know what, Owen Hart, I, I didn't realize it, how incredible it was. Like, I wanna go back to the accident so I can shed a tear. Cause I'm fuming I didn't cry when this guy died. You can do it now. And it's too late now. Is this, we're talking, well, this was 1996? No, 98. 98, just a few years after Brian Pillman. So it's 21 <laughs> years. Yeah. 21 years ago. Exactly, and you got a YouTuber that probably was born after. He's not gonna appreciate. No, but at the time, Taser, I didn't, like Owen Hart, I didn't like him. I, I don't know if it was his nose. I didn't I don't know if it was because it was a situation or it's because he was Bret Hart's brother. But I didn't take him seriously. But when I watch when I watch him now, I'm like, right, this guy is sick. No, Bret Hart. He was, was in the Nation of Domination. <laughs> that is weird. You know, I never what? watched it to find out why he was in the Nation of Domination. No, we need to find out why he was in the Nation of Domination. <laughs> and they kicked out Farouk. They they rushed. I remember. I remember that. You know, I remember them. I remember them all being in the ring one time. Yeah. And Farouk's there talking, and they just they turn on him and they rush him in the ring. That that, that was interesting. Even though at that time I didn't, I only cared about Austin the Rock. The no, whole... no, no, no. But that's what I'm saying. Mm. That time I didn't care about the Rock. The Rock wasn't. Uh, oh, he, he, yeah, he wasn't nobody then. Do you know what? I, do you know what I noticed the Rock do that annoyed me? What? See when they're walking out, yeah, they're walking out. You got Mark Henry, the Rock, Owen Hart, Godfather, D'Lo Brown, and D'Lo Brown. 
So they're walking out, everyone's doing their own thing. The Rock noticed that Greg and Felix have got the camera right in front of him. So, so he's just walking. <laughs> Watch carefully. Does when you realise the camera's there. Does that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does that over. <laughs> I, I wheeled it straight away. I watched it 10 times. I was like, Rock, you are shit. Yeah, but you know, I think we're shit as well, though. Who? Dino Bravo, what, what, what is that? Even, even in slow-mo, yeah. he's next. To- yeah, he just, he just moved. I, I loved it. So they come in the ring, and then Farouk comes out second. No, f- oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Owen Hart's theme song. What does everybody want? What does he say? That is it. Enough is enough. And it's time for a change. And he's right. After that, it was a big change. <laughs> Didn't see you again, Owen Hart. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> no. no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Words, sometimes your words are powerful. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So we got Owen Hart's family member here. So, um, so obviously, um, I remember Farouk comes out second. And I liked Fruit because Fruit always had a screw face when he wrestled. It was like <laughs> serious. So this is what I don't understand. They get in the ring, and then Owen Hart's boys leave. <laughs> we never, we didn't see them again. So why did they go? I will never walk in the ring with you and just walk back out, and I'm gone. I might as well hang, you know like the lumberjack, is it lumberjack matches? Yeah, they just hang yeah, outside. Uh, yeah. yeah, but they all left. So I wasn't happy about that. But anyway, the, the fight starts and I, I, was, I, I was impressed with the fight, in fact. I didn't, I didn't like Farouk's, Farouk, I, he, like, the way he got out of a, a, a sharpshooter, I've never seen someone get out of a sharpshooter like that. Where- No, it wasn't a sharpshooter, it was a Boston Crab. It Boston, Boston Crab. Crab. It was a Boston right. Crab, right? Boston yeah. Crab, yeah. It was a bit, it was a bit mad. So he's on, yeah, he put his legs, he pushed his leg down, which made Owen Hart roll over. Roll over. What? Serious power. That's the, and then he rolled onto him. Yeah. To and tried him. to pin him and then changed his mind and, and went for the punch. <laughs> yeah. So Farouk was a bit- yeah, You see when he went for the punch, you mm. see, did you hear the ref? What did he say? He said, open your hand. He was punching him. He said, no, no, open your hand, open your fist. Always open hand, always yeah, open, open hand. hand. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So slap him. I didn't, I didn't him. hear that, man. So no, nah, no, no punches, please. Slaps only. That's rubbish, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good though. The referees were, you know, keeping the, the rest of the safe though. So I remember Farouk and Owen Hart getting out of here and then Owen Hart. Oh, do you know what I liked? Farouk's powerbomb. It, his powerbomb was always like, get off me. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he had the, because every time he had a screw face, that, a, a, a bum line will, 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 will appear here. You know people that like, when they do that, it's, it's, can you see a bum line when I do that? Yeah. Is it? Do it, let me see. Do it. Oh, so we've all got bum lines when we do it, man. Farouk, I thought he was the only one. You're not alone. Oh, we're not is. Um, so basically. <laughs> so you say nothing, Penn. What, so you don't think he's out there with Chris Benoit? Oh, no way. Benoit's somewhere hot. Where, where, where Benoit went, the handle was hot. If he did what he really did. The handle was hot. When he went in there, fire got low. <laughs> Poet's been there. Poet went there on Monday. Owen grabs a microphone and says, I'm not a nugget. What does that mean, Taser? They were calling him a nugget for some reason. So what does a nugget mean? Does that mean, is that when a white guy joins a black gang? Is that what it means? <laughs> I don't know, actually. A nugget, a wasn't nugget. It about, wasn't it his nose? Why? What's the most nugget here about his nose? Remember, that's why he got. That's yeah. why he slapped the fan. The fan was dissing his nose. Yeah, because the, the, no, the, the, the nose, nose was, was like, Taser's new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so he get, picks up the mic and he says, I'm not a nugget. But I like that, you know why? Because it's like, it really gets the crowd yeah. on it like. So, why did they like? Well, why did they not like him? He looked like he was the one that they hated. Well, he joined Nation Domination. So what does that mean? And everyone hated them. Oh, at the time? At the time. No one really did. Nation of Domination. They were the bad guys, yeah. Yeah, they were the bad guys. <laughs> but they let a white guy in to uh, what was a was kind confusing. of a black power group. Mm. Very confusing. Which is good for racism at the time. Yeah, it probably did a lot for racism mm. at the time, yeah. Owen Harp has played a big part in black and white people coming together. So, Owen Hart, thank you. <laughs> you wish, Owen Hart, you ain't done shit. So, um, <laughs> um, so I remember Ken Shamrock, no, no, no. In fact, there was a sharpshooter 
that's how it now, what I don't like, what I didn't like here, the sharpshooter was done on um, Farouk on the corner of the ring. He could have grabbed the rope. He could have grabbed the ropes. I thought that. Acting. Poor. See, when you could see the acting, it's, I don't think I saw acting at the time. But now it's just like, oh, you guys, man. That's what kind of kills me now, mm. watching it back. It's like, really, come on. Like, if, if, if you want to, like, if we deep it, mm. the Stone Cold Stunner is a shit move. Oh, it's one of the worst. But they had the rock flying across yeah, the yeah. ring. People sold it. Do you know what I mean? Even yeah. Stone Cold's moves list. Yeah. I used to want to buy the game and be gassed. Yes, Stone Cold. Bro, his move list. Shit. Yeah. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah he had yeah, no yeah. moves. Bro, I he had no that. moves. Yeah. I told you Stone Cold's He had a bad knee. Yeah. He had no moves. Yeah. yeah. But he's winning fights. You're winning fights to get some real technical fight. Like, come on. To be fair, Owen Hart and Farouk both have moves in this match, I think. Yeah. There was a variety of moves. Even elbow drops off the turnbuckle, leg drops off the turnbuckle. Oh my God. That's that. the worst move I've ever seen in wrestling. Where Farouk's standing over Owen Hart and just throws his back off. <laughs> yeah. Into Owen's that was chest. his crutch. It was his dick. He's like dick moves. Yeah. That, and then Owen spun around and yeah, kneed him in the dick. Yeah. Yeah, what was that about? That, 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 that move was terrible. But I liked Farouk. I, 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 there was something about Farouk. I think Vince McMahon should have pushed Farouk and made him like, I don't know. Like a, he was the first black world champion of WCW. Is it? Yeah. That's why he was a Hall of Famer. Yeah. These men had accolades back in the day. Remember, we were too young to understand mm, what was yeah, going on. Back in the day. Because yeah. uh, the transition for The Rock, I don't understand. At the time, he was just sneak in the yeah. back, pulling up his eyebrows. And then, I don't know, what did he go away? And then come back? That they just, rushed him. A year later, it's just, yeah. he was so, people hated him so much. So once you turn good, people just love you. So. But I'm saying his transition was what? When he started wearing the, 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 the silk shirts. shirts and, and, yeah. And, yeah. and then he started talking more. Was but, his beef with um, Triple H? Triple H. Yeah. But every wrestler... With their first two characters have had stinkers. They've had to, yeah, go and type in Stone Cold. But if you see Stone Cold as um, what was his name? T. Stunning Steve. Who? You would, you would never watch him again. <laughs> but situation like you look at him, think, ooh, Stacy Kibler again. Like you, he's, he looks like that kind of situation. Proper bright blonde guy. Or long hair in that. He had oh, he, oh Stone Cold. Do you know what? It was so bad. Yeah, I, I typed in Stone Cold's parents. That's how bad it is. I wanted to see wh what genes did you take here? That's how bad it was, Taser. I see, I didn't know that. What do you think of the name Farouk? It's one of the worst names you can give to anyone. I met a Farouk in the office the other day. A guy came up to me, slow motion, soul voice. Uh, you at Specs here? Yeah? Well, you are, yeah. My name's Farouk. So for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's the name you got. You got to uh, search it on Google and see what it means first. Taser, when I was working in the schools, I wasn't meeting Farouks. <laughs> I've now joined the RWD and I'm meeting Farouks. Let me go back to the schools. <laughs> and he's there, just talking to me, and it's just like, why don't you just say your name is Barry? Because <laughs> his, name's, his name's Farouk. Farouk doesn't suit anybody. Farouk. What does it mean? I think it's an Arabic name. Uh, <laughs> the Redeemer. The one who distinguishes between right and wrong. And That's a good name. See? What? See? And I know the meaning. It's a good name. That's right and wrong. No, it's, not, it's all wrong. <laughs> Change the name. <laughs> so he's in a sharpshooter near the ropes. Doesn't touch the ropes. And then that makes me realise that, you know what? You've run out of time. So he, he taps out. Now, he doesn't even tap properly. He taps once. And the referee doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> and then Ken Shamrock comes running out. And chases Owen Hart out of the ring. But Ken Shamrock, I have to say, was ripped. You guys go to the gym. That is what you call back muscles. <laughs> when he jumped over. <laughs> Taser, yeah, yeah. Taser's a big guy. <laughs> Taser and Miles, they go gym, but they only work on here, here, and here. <laughs> what about here? Well, did you, what did, about here? Did you include me in that? What about here? What about here? What about here? I don't understand. Huh? Did you include me? You in? got back muscles like that. Big man. Is it? Show us. Well, right now? Yeah. Nah. Have you got back muscles? Yes. Wait, hold on. What back are you talking about? <laughs> what, what is your fascination with guys? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. My fascination is I'm, I've noticed people like you and Scribs and my friends are getting their bums done. <laughs> no, no one's getting bums done so, over here, bro. Guys getting bum implants on the low as a secret. But what's, no, but, I'll but, expose no, no, you about it. But what's wrong with guys having the back off? Nothing. It just I think it's funny. No, why do you, no, but why do you think it's natural? What? Guys have a back off? Yeah. No, it, no, your your boy Keith's got natural. Oh my days. <laughs> like, so that's I, what the men are known for now. 
<laughs> no, but he, he tucks <laughs> in. If you if you wear the tracksuit and you tuck in the top <laughs> to show people the bum line, I'm gonna have a look. Why not? The view's free. <laughs> Doesn't mean that I'm, I'm, I I I, I want to shake it with him. No, mom, I'm not saying that. Mm. I'm just saying that. Why? I don't understand why it's it's not. You don't think it's natural? Because you said um, injection. We we squat. Because you didn't have it last year. <laughs> we squat though. We, huh? we squat. Oh, so you squat? Yeah. So you're working on it. Oh yeah, yeah. Them, man. <laughs> so you want your back up to stick out like I, I don't, but if you like Megan the Stallion in the middle of the <laughs> Megan the Stallion, yes it, Taser Stallion. I'm, I, I'm not shaking it. Huh? I'm you not have to shake it. it, but I just I, I, it's very funny to me when I see, you know, Taser, Squibs, Miles walking. <laughs> Think also that, Harry. Yeah, ha- Harry, Harry does, Harry does all of that as well. Harry cocks it up and Harry doesn't squat. But he's cocking it up. So Harry like He might just have a lower back problem. Oh, he actually does, because that's why he's just like this, isn't it? I don't know if that means he's got a low back problem, but... <laughs> Out of five, Farouk versus Owen Hart. Uh, what are you giving it? Four. What, fights in, in WWF? I, I just, I think Owen Hart's... I think Owen Hart's the bad guy role. I think that's one of the best... Best um, performances from a bad guy. Getting a crowd involved. I like that. Every time he did a move, you suck. I don't suck. All this, he just kept talking to the crowd. You even I like the Owen mic, bruv. Oh, you know what? And because he's not here of us, let's give it the, the, the 12 second silence. Yeah, head down. Head down, Digos. <laughs> mm. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't silence. <laughs> okay, Taze, what are you saying? Out of five, what would you give that? Nah, I'd give that a three, man. I've seen way better fights than that. Your favourite fight of all time? Like, watching? One of my favourite just because I knew he was going to be done in two minutes. It's just Undertaker. The moment he took you for the last ride, the whole time. But do you know who had the best finishing move that used to, like, I used to get? Who? Goldberg. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jackhammer. The Jackhammer is uh, oh. after the after the, uh, the spear. The spear? Yeah. Cut you in half, man. Fam. The only move I liked from Goldberg is when he lifts you up, holds you for time, Brings you down and slams you. That's a new like, that's, that's a good move as well. All right, let's get into some no rules news. Now I feel like I might have carefully curated this one in honor of our guest because I feel like Tasers. These are these are these are going to play well in Tasers' world. This first story comes from Punch NG. I feel like the NG might be Nigeria. 23-year-old lady caught with 23 ATM cards hidden in her genitals. A man said, I feel like this will play well with our guests. And it's a fraud case. (laughs) You ain't lying though. (laughs) (laughs) 23-year-old lady Halima Juma was arrested with 23 ATM cards allegedly tucked inside her private parts. Police in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania said they suspected her of stealing money from bank users after illegally obtaining their ATM cards. That's a lot of, 23. 23 cards is a lot, you know. That's a lot of cards to be stuffing down there. Boris Johnson was right. (laughs) He said Nigerians love money. Nigerians will be anywhere. She's Tanzanian. You didn't say she's Nigerian. (laughs) She's Nigerian, bro. She's Tanzanian, bro. Nigeria, that's what, look at the bio. And the buyer's Nigerian. Just he put the R and said he's from Togo. <laughs> he's a Nigerian. Everyone knows. Next story. <laughs> Japanese store. This was from the BBC. Japanese store rethinks badges for staff on periods. What? A Japanese department store where staff could wear badges if they were on their periods has said it will rethink that policy. What do you think about that? Public- so you have to wear a badge if you go on your period, basically. Yeah, so I people, f- customers and people sensitive. can be like... Okay, <laughs> maybe I'll go leave you else. alone. Do you know what? Living with a woman, periods is real, man. It's a real issue. I would love my missus to have a badge on. <laughs> Just so you know. Heads up. So everyone knows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this story comes from the Oregonian. Man who hid dead roommate's body under mattress had sex on top of it, convicted of corpse abuse. Man had sex with who? A 56-year-old man was convicted Tuesday of two counts of abusing a corpse after investigators said he covered his dead roommate's body with a mattress and other household items and then had sex with a different woman multiple times on top of the corpse. 
You know, having sex with a dead body. No, listen. On top of on a top. dead body. So someone's died. Yeah. He just said, fuck you. Put a mattress on top and then linked the thing and then had sex on top. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. I thought he put the mattress next to the dead body. No, on top. Pinned it. <laughs> and then shaked it. That would have been better. So you know that after you've... No, tell me, tell me. I'll break, to, to break it down, break it down. When your shoulder's shaking, yeah? Mm. You reach a climax, right? And stuff happens. Wait, you mean, so when I shoulder shake, I explode into the white tissue? Yeah. Yeah. After you've exploded, yeah. studies show that yeah. there's a moment of, like, oh, realization. What did I just do? Yeah. yeah. Now you feel kind of disgusted with yourself. Yeah. Do you get that? Not when you're disexperienced. <laughs> <laughs> the next story comes from the New York Post. Woman claims Washington Post restaurant critic exposed husband's affair. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you for asking. A Washington Post food critic unwittingly became embroiled in a married man's affair when the cheater was photographed dining with his mistress in a recent restaurant review. His alleged wife is claiming. Oh, so damn. he's in the restaurant having a meal. Take a photo of me for the review in the background. It's a man cheating. It's tense. Cheaters, man. Every year, cheaters get caught. <laughs> Every year. Every year, <laughs> cheaters get caught. Like, I don't understand. Just stop cheating, man. Stop cutting this. Cheating should be extinct. I guess it's easier said than done. It should be extinct, Taser. Be real, come out, tell these girls you want five or six women from the get-go. Now, but it's not from the get-go, that's the problem. It changes. It changes as time goes Never. on. Does it, T? <laughs> I mean, changes. of course it can, yeah. Of course it changes. Would you be the girl that cheated on you? So I found that she cheated, would I stay? Yeah. Nah, I don't think I could. T? No, that, I don't think so. No. I, w I wouldn't look at her the same anymore. Mm. Yeah, yeah they, they just never get that back. Yeah. Like, I get mad when, like, plans are fucked up. And our final no rules news story, we're going to go left. Dog starts house fire in Essex by turning on microwave. Have you had a dog before? No. 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 Why did it take you so long to answer Because that? I have had a dog, but in Nigeria. But I only saw it That's once. not when you yeah, have a dog yeah, exactly. in Nigeria. That don't mean you have a dog. That means you've got a dog to say to look after the house. Yeah, but we had six named after everybody, all the kids. Tell me now, what were they called? Monday, what? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, no, <laughs> bro. Which one? One was called Ryder, Shizla. I think one was called Taze. <laughs> I can't remember that three, man. <laughs> I can't remember the rest, man. But yeah. They had a dog called Sizzler. <laughs> How much you like that as a All dog name? All these dogs are drug dealers. <laughs> <laughs> that means that dog needs a lead in the house. No, the dog was on its own. Oh, it was on its own, yeah? yeah? Yeah. So it needs, so when I used to have a dog, we used to leave it in a, um, in the kitchen, but we used to, um, Fence it. Fe no, not in the ki kitchen, in the corridor. Right. But we used to, it's like in a little cage. So mm. we come out, do you know what I mean? Because at the time we was training it, because it was shitting in the house and all that kind of stuff. But that dog seems like it still needs to be trained. Well, we got some good advice from uh, Jeff Wheel, which is he who's a watch manager at Currington Fire Station, who says it demonstrates that microwaves shouldn't be used to store food when they aren't in use. Always keep your microwave clean and free of clutter or food and any packaging. That's actually a good shot. It makes sense, him having to say it because some people do leave their food in the microwave. I get that, yeah. But you don't expect, a dog, you don't expect a dog to turn on the microwave. Yeah. Why is it disgusting? What, leaving food in the microwave? Yeah. It's just, it's just it, it, the, the kitchen starts to smell, number one. No, it doesn't no, have oh. to be hot food, just yeah. like bread. Oh, left it overnight? Well, all the time, like instead of putting it in a bread bin, just guys put it in the microwave. No, 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 bro. That's disgusting. We don't do that, bro. No, no, in my no. House. I, but I, wouldn't, I didn't mean it in that. I meant just like, you know, for example, you, you serve food. Yeah. But you're not ready to eat it yet, or something's yeah. come up, so you just yeah. put it in the microwave. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Come back to it. Yeah, yeah it's, that's fine. Yeah. But if you leave bread in the, if you leave it in the, in the microwave and go to work for six hours. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, that's disgusting. Uh, bread rolls. 
No, anything you put in the microwave. What about the dog it? thinking? I don't think the dog's dog hungry. I don't think the dog meant to turn on the microwave. What do you mm. think it was trying to do? It was probably just doing something and what? you just tell it. It just tried to eat. It just tried to eat warm food to eat. Oh, maybe the, one of the bread rolls. Okay. Yeah, the dog watched Lassie. You know, when dogs watch Lassie, they think they can do what Lassie was doing back in the day. But remember, Lassie died at the end of that scene. He died, you know. And then what scene? Uh, the the Lassie was the police dog, right, Greg? <laughs> Police. Lassie wasn't a police That's dog. Bit no. You're oh. thinking of uh, Turner yeah. and Hooch. Yeah, that was it. Turner with Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. Lassie. <laughs> okay, that was no rules news. And to to close out with what well, has been a great guest, we've always had Taser down on the list of people that have to be on the show. I feel like we didn't even talk as much Miles as we probably expected to because it's just so obvious. Didn't need to talk Miles. Miles is a walking hell, but he's still our friend and we love him. But there'll be more stories. There will be more there stories. Will be more stories. Uh, but to close out, we need a Brexit update. So, uh, Taser, Boris is a good friend of mine. I've swapped him for Neil Kinnock. Neil Kinnock was my former friend who was the former leader of the Labour Party back in the day. Talking John Major times, nobody cares. <laughs> However, <laughs> Boris Johnson uh, hosted a speech at the NATO. Don't know what that is. Doesn't sound good to me. But what I like about him is he was actually supposed to be meeting Donald Trump for a meeting. But he said, nope, I'm going to host this show, which means he doesn't care about Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. and that's my update on Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> we're close to the election now. We're in December. Well, we are very close to the election. Did you vote? Have you voted in Tazar? I registered to vote. And who are you planning to vote for? <laughs> Taser, I'm a politician. You must see me with a big glasses busted joke, but I'm a politician. You'll find out on the day, innit? Well, tell me now, though. Now, when they do that, you know what I mean, the update. Don't go against Boris. Boris yeah. is good. Boris is giving us 40,000 hospitals next year. <laughs> <laughs> this man, what she said. You know what? Huh? 40,000 hospitals. How many times did you go to hospital this year? Hmm? How many times did you go to hospital this year? I'll, I'll go when he starts with number four. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? That's a very good question. My doctor, I don't know, Mr. Evans, I don't know. I haven't seen him in years. I do not go doctors or anything because I know my body as well. I'll only go doctors if when I'm sort of shaking, the white stuff's about to come out and just decides I'm backing off here and I don't explode. Then there's something wrong with my body. That's all I care about, shoulder shaking. I don't care if I've got anything wrong with the blood cells or bones, whatever. As long as I can shoulder shake, I am healthy. Speaking of Boris Johnson, Healthy, not brushing the hair. I love the way he looks. He's a situation. Please vote for him. Referendum. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn was on. Um, <laughs> what's the What's the ITV daytime show with Philip Schofield and Good Morning? Show. Good morning, yeah. Good morning, Brit. No, it's, no, it's the one after that. GMB, or, no? No, it's, yeah, that's the Piers Morgan one, isn't it? Oh, then there's the one after with Philip Schofield, whatever it's called. Um, uh, Jeremy Corbyn was on there, and Philip Schofield said that he has to apologise for anti-Semitism. He's anti-Semitism. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Liberal Democrats, they were driving around in a bus today and uh, loads of protesters from Extinction Rebellion were dressed as bumblebees and they stopped the bus and they wouldn't let the bus through because they wanted the Liberal Democrats to commit to zero carbon output in the UK by next year and they were all dressed as bumblebees and they were going the world needs bumblebees Bzzz. I don't know what's going on I think the protests outside Canada Goose shop is more interesting than that <laughs> why? because when you walk past they have a Canada Goose jacket on they grab you on to you. take it off <laughs> they're on to you but carbon pollution all that stuff with the government I don't know what's going on however 3 o'clock in the morning the other day a big explosion happened in the sky. 4.20 to be exact. 4.20, right? Mm -hmm. And they called it a sonic boom. Sonic boom. Guile. And they said this, this is standard procedures. I don't it's, think they said it was standard before. procedures. I heard it. Did you hear it? What? I tweeted. As soon as I heard it, I tweeted straight away. I was like... Oh, yeah, yeah. I tweeted you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, what I the hell was it. this? Mm. We were together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot I was with you on Saturday, man. Yeah, but we weren't with together when the, when the sonic boom happened. You went home to show the shit. 
you wanted a sonic boom to happen with me and you? No. Because that's, like loud, that's a loud shape. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a big guy, so it makes sense. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Taser Black. Thanks for having me, man. That's a legendary guest. And uh, yeah, subscribe on the YouTube and leave us a comment and a rating on the podcast app because that helps us to grow up the charts. And go and uh, listen to Free Shots of Tequila on Spotify. Spotify. Everyone Legends. knows us on Spotify. Posters and Taser a, on the underground. We've got a live show as well. When End is it? Year. End of the year. End of the year, yeah? Am I DJing? Have you got someone? Actually, I'm coming. Yeah. I'm These guys do serious, serious live shows. Pioneering the whole podcast industry in this country. Uh, and also Faded and all Taser's promotions. And yeah. now he's got his brand. And yeah, f- thanks man. for coming. <laughs> money man. You're a funny man, you know. I'm trying, I'm trying. Come I'm trying. on, man. Big booty, Taser Black.